Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the another important concept in the signals thing that is nothing but RxJS interoperability package. So what is this RxJS interoperability package? Let's try to see it. So RxJS, we have an, we have an another package which is in the developer in the right now in the preview in right now in Angular 18. It offers some handy features and also handy packages for us. So handy methods for us. So what are those handy methods for us? Let's try to discuss it. So I am trying to uh, remove this one all. So let's try to remove this one all so that we can able to understand it clearly. So fine. So here, let's say that we are having this effect, right? So now the first method which I want to tell you is that to signal. So what does this to signal will do? The to signal function. So first one is let's try to open the notepad to press notepad plus yeah the first one the first package available in the rxjs so this one is rxjs hyphen interop package okay this is the package it automatically it will become it will uh, comes in the angular core but this one is in the still development preview but in the future it may some changes will be there but right now it is stable only so now the first method which we will be having is the two signal so what does this package offer some methods i will try to tell you the first method which it will try to offer is the two signal this function converts so here what it will try to do is why because we are using this package means for example let's say that you people are uh, accustomed or habituated with the observables concept so right now the this new concept has been came so there is nothing but the signals concept now whenever you try to use these signals and all those things so then what about the observables concept so you may be getting it a little bit confused confused right so that is the reason so this package will be available for us so what does this two signal pack, uh, method will do is this two signal function converts an RxJS observable here you need to understand it will convert an RxJS observable into an angular signal. So if you are having an observable then if you want to convert it into a signal means then you can use this two signal function. Signals are reactive variables in angular that store the state and modify the app whenever the value changes. Two signal automatically subscribes to the observable and updates the signals value as the observable emits new values. So that means the two signal will automatically subscribe to the observable and update the signal value to the observable whenever the observable emits a new value. So I will try to explain you the simple example. Let's say that here in our code, okay, I will be going into our, into our code and here, let's say that here we are having, we are there in the computer signal, right? So I will remove this one all. Let's say we are having a counter observable, okay? So I am having a counter observable and this one is signal of uh, sorry this one is not observable right so let's say that i will create an uh, observable which is an interval which should be imported from this one and for every second it will emit a value one two three four five like that so now i want to use this one in a count uh, in a as a signal so then what can i do so i can have a counter and i can use the two signal okay two signal and this one right now it will not come so you need to import it import from at the rate angular angular slash core slash rxjs interop so now here directly you can use the two signal here directly you will get the two signal which should be imported from this one angular core rxjs interop now here i can send the observable counter observable okay and you can also pass some options to this one as an object and those options means nothing but first one will be the initial value so that means if the first time when you are subscribed to the observable so first time it will not send any value right so until that you can use this initial value and now I can use this counter thing in our computer signal like counter here you will be having counter that's it so it's a signal thing so you need to use it like this now whenever you try to see here for every second the value will be updated so now the counter value it's a signal thing and it is coming from the observable so the two signal has subscribed to this observable and this observable emits the data for every one second and automatically the signal value is also getting updated. So here interval of 1000 is an RxJS observable that emits a number every second. We understood this one. The two signal takes this observable and converts it into a signal. The signal starts with an initial value of 0 and updates every time the observable emits. The template displays the signal value using the counter which automatically updates the view as an observable emits new value. This is similar to using something like an async value. Whenever you try to use the observable, for example, if I try to use this counter observable, here you will be having this counter observable counter observable if you try to see here we can use the async thing so this looks like something like async only 
but here we need to import the common module here yeah so now here if you try to see the same thing the same thing happens see the same thing the async only but if you want to use it with the signals concept the new concept so then you can use this two signal so in order to if you are having an observable and if you want to convert it to observable means you can use the two signal that that's it so it gives you more flexibility to use the signal anywhere in the component and you have an another option that is nothing but in the uh, i told you right in the two signal we can have the initial value so we also have an another option so now you need to understand about the manual cleanup so the another option which is available is the manual cleanup what does it do so let's try to see it. so manual cleanup okay so in this two signal only we have an another option manual cleanup as we have already discussed about this manual cleanup thing when you are trying to read about this uh, fx and all those things okay not uh, yeah F X fx thing so now what does it do by default when a component uses the two signal it is destroyed so that is two signal is destroyed angular automatically unsubscribes from the observable so why because so whenever the component is destroyed or anything it will be unsubscribed however you can override the behavior using this manual cleanup option which allows you to control when to clean up the from the observable so that means when you are trying to use this option so you need to manually clean up the option in the on destroy thing so what can i do here so here i will be using the manual cleanup to true okay so I will be using the option something like manual cleanup to true here somewhere you will be having the option yeah like this manual cleanup to true whenever you keep keep this manual cleanup to true so what you need to do so here instead of this one the counter observable dot subscribe is there right so you will be having this subscription okay so now what you need to do so you need to unsubscribe to this one so for example let's say that uh, subscription so you can have this subscription okay and you can have the subscription which should be imported and now on ng on init you need to subscribe to this one so here you will be having ng on init you need to subscription to this one so whenever you are having this ng on destroy so you need to destroy to this one so for example let's say that here you are having so if this dot subscription is available so we need to subscribe manually clean up the subscription like this so in this example what we have to we have set the manual clean up to true this means angular will not automatically unsubscribe from the observable when the component is destroyed so when the component is destroyed the angular will not automatically unsubscribe it so we create a subscription manual on ng on it and ensure it's cleaned up in the ng on destroy this approach is helpful when you are working with the long lived observables or observables that naturally complete on their own so that's that's the thing where we will be using it and we also have an another option that is nothing but error and complete handling so what does this does is when you when you use two signal if the observable emits an error that error will be thrown when you try to access the signal similarly if the observable completes the signal will continue return the last emitted value so for that one what you need to do it is so for example let's say that you are having an observable so just you can catch it with the catch thing so let's say that you are having an observable and you are having a value something like this so you can take it like this uh, let's say that i will try to remove this one all so that you will be able to understand it so here i am having an error message so i am through in the observable i am throwing an error okay throws an error and here you will be having an initial value so here you will getting an error why because so we are trying to send the uh, wrong value right so now when you try to use this ng on in it so you can directly use this one okay so why because so directly it is throwing a value so that's why it is uh, showing an error okay so now why because it cannot able to understand the default value of this one so never so here two signal and when this error throws an value so we are trying to calculate the signal value when it is throws an error we are able to calculate this one so now here you can what you can do you can do the error message and you can remove this one and here you can show the error message that's it so now if you try to see the output for this one so you will be able to see a counter and error occurred so like this whatever the error you are trying to do it so you can you can throw error so like this you can catch it so this is what i want to tell you so the throw error observable emits an error immediately the two signal is called it converts this observable into a signal the error is thrown when the signal is accessed and we catch it to display the error message this pattern allows you to handle errors gracefully in your ui similarly how to how would you handle some errors in a regular rxjs subscription so this is all about the two signal concept which we will be using it hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.